Henry uh, will probably tell us very little about this. They won the county junior hurling championship, beat Dungoni by a single solitary point. And what a heartbreak that was from Dungoni. But what a great day it was for Killorn as the ball is around the middle of the path. Move forward now by Killorn. This is a good play by them. It comes to Liam Whelan. Whelan is fouled. And now Mannix comes up. He's their main man. And where's the number 11 jersey taking this one from 40 and He plays it across and a little bit of slack marking here. Who's going to win it? The slack marking is all over as Chris Donovan comes in and uh, takes the ball away. And Chris Donovan is the judge to foul there. And uh, the ref was a lot nearer to it than we were. And uh, not too sure that that was the worst uh, well foul that uh, Chris O'Donovan has ever uh, committed. But the referee was a lot, lot nearer to us. Let's not be critical. The man in black is in charge and the free is in a lot more advantageous position now. About 40 metres out, it should and will. And he's gone over the vast stages of this the evening echo sponsored. Intermediate Hurling Championship Final of 2009 Getting ready to take the puck out Kieran Walsh He'd be driving this one uh, Towards this side of the field The covered stand side Jeremy Hurley box Blacks it down for uh, Valley Rovers And running out with there And it's Ronan Lehan Has a very good start in this game And Lehan off his left strikes it It's going to drop about 35 metres out Can Eamon Collins get on it Collins does Collins is on the move He's striking over the bar He showed him does it over the bar To the corner where And Noli O'Donovan gathers it He's from Valley Rovers A lovely ball out the field To Ray O'Donovan No relation Ray O'Donovan's shot is blocked down And uh, Kilwater in there And Will Toomey breaks it out where it comes to Brian Tobin from Moor Park and a lovely ball from Tobin to the young Mark Joe Cahill from Moor Park East he strikes it as uh, the ball is won back by Rio Dunn for Valley Rovers he sends it inside it's going to drop in the 20 metre line oh and Manning is underneath it Manning puts it onto his left this fellow knows where it goes at he kicks it and uh, he tries to get it inside but is well taken away there a good move uh, 65 to be taken by Jeremy Hurley in uh, the game against Ahada he was absolutely superb striking them we'll see what he can do on this occasion over oh, a bad game in terms of scores two points apiece and I think level probably everywhere else as well and we are nine minutes into the uh, first half here nine minutes of top class hurling it's won by Ronan Lehan for Valley Rovers from the uh, Poco he tried to get inside for today as this sideline cut will be taken by uh, the, uh, none other than Ray O'Donovan taking this 43 metres out from the uh, Kilworth goal and he'll be hoping to strike it in the danger area beautiful strike it's going to drop on the 30 metre line but they're going to be Kilworth hand gather it a 5 drops it but a 7 picks it up and that's Declan Tobin and Tobin plays it back to Damien McNamara played, a cork, played with the Cork Miners in 2001 and he clears it out the field but the ball breaks to Jeremy Hurley and Hurley from a long distance out a oh, what a drive from Hurley from his own 60 I mentioned Ray O'Donovan who delivers it down the field to Will Toomey and if one man can grab it so too can Toomey and Toomey sends it deep into enemy territory but it cut it off there by David Lynch only into the hands of Brian Tobin Tobin gathers it lets it off out as far as uh, Joe Cal. these are all Kilworthmen Cal is on the 45 metre line his team are down a point he plays it out to the uh, outside more than anything else and can he get over the bar I think it should on this occasion we wait and see and it's over the bar and the sides are level once he score coming in the uh, 12th minute of the game and it's now a case of three points apiece Shane O'Brien would be pleased about that because uh, he missed one a little earlier on the puck out is on his way ball is breaking free there and the Valley Rovers man fouled Brian Nehan will be pleased about that get away watching Hurley getting ready to uh, strike this one from as I say about 60 metres out does the uh, bending the lifting and now the striking will follow will it go over the bar we'll tell you it is and over the bar from Jeremy Hurley uh, struck a few better ones I would imagine and uh, we wait and see what's going to happen here can Rio Dunham win it or Dunham is driving forward and still moving forward he's uh, towards the uh, well he's almost into the corner flag and then he tries to play it across but it's well won by Damien McNamara and Damien McNamara foul there and uh, uh, over carried out I would think they can uh, the view on that one yeah, it was over carried party, but he seemed to, yeah, to to throw his man away with his hand as well. So I suppose you know, but uh, if he probably is a little bit slow to get rid of the ball, that's about his second occasion. Oh, he seemed to be caught there in the corner, you know. So you know, it's a point for value now again, surely from that angle. Well, I tell you, uh, Dick, we'll wait and see chickens and hatching and all that kind of thing as we watch Eamon Collins getting ready to take this from the 20 metre line, about 8 metres in from the covered stand side in Parky Keeve. And Eamon Collins strikes it off his right, is it over the bar from him? They go for a white flag and from a free, and he puts Valley Rovers back into the lead. It's a pulsating and a most interesting game of hurling. And uh, the uh, the puck out is on its way. We'll see who's going to uh, break it down. But it's broken down tight. Mark running out because we'll play by the abandonment. And he is fouled. And uh, they're getting a slap there for his troubles. And holding his jaw, the referee, uh, right alongside that one. And I presume if it was anything uh, sinister or serious, uh, he would have taken action. He decided not to. It means that Jeremy Hurley now has an opportunity to strike this one. The linesman on the far side is telling Jeremy where to exactly take this one. He has an unusual, well, kind of his own ritual beforehand where he rolls the ball in the grass 3.2 times before 
before he decides to lift it it's just in front of his own 65 meter line and uh, Joe Canning would be proud of it it's driven forward is it over the bat I wonder on this occasion it's another Jeremy Hurley special and an opportunity for Shane O'Brien can he gather it the second time of asking a Kilworth man is on the uh, deck Liam Whelan he ain't rising and uh, we'll check and see what's going to happen in. but there's a lovely clearance here from Ronan Lee for Valley Rovers oh how can Aaron Collins caught that I never know and he tried to make his way inside they played in this championship they played ahead twice and Dramina once because they got a boy into the quarterfinals of the championship so if you like Valley Rovers have defeated just two teams to get thus far in the county intermediate hurling championship and uh, we watch to uh, see how Eamon Collins will take this one he strikes it off his right and he drills it over the bar they won the equivalent in football uh, when they defeated Kildare but the uh, last time that they won a major holding competition was back in 1989 when they defeated Kilbritton in the Intermediate Holding Championship to play a scene in the following year and uh, we watch the ball being worked forward it's broke as far as Kieran O'Reilly to the tie ball and tie ball gives it out where the ball will be whipped over there by Brian and driven over the bar and I suppose that's why they did move Aidan Manning out to see can he get something but he will be disappointed with that one the only worry for Bally Robert there I know they're going over the bar but there's only two there's only two scorers apart from uh, Brian Lee Hand their party Jory Hurley have four and Eamon Collins three so I mean you know they might be a bit worried about the rest of our farmers not scoring a huge uh, angle well you can judge it yourself those that follow this particular sport out by the sideline 70 metres off from goal it's heading towards the target is it good enough I wonder we wait for a flag and it's over the bar from off Hurley once again but it comes out and that's Kieran Walsh good play by him and Kilworth delivers it to the far side of the field I tell you what the score is a little later as the uh, Kilworth man uh, sending that one out there but it's now one back and good play by the Kilworth left half back who gathers that one and sends it forward De- Declan Tobin they need a couple of scores as they trail at the moment and a score line of 9 points to 4 and now they have it inside towards the danger area tried to get it there but there's a real top class backing job by sideline 70 metres out from goal he slotted over the bar and in between Brightley Hannett wing forward now we watch the free being taken by Adrian Mannix he's uh, this will restore it. 8 points to 5 and Willie Burke takes the puck out to the far side of the field underneath it there is Owen Manning and so too is Ray O'Donovan these are Valley Rovers men and uh, Donovan gets it the second time I'm asking still moving forward playing his best hurling this year and he's been playing a lot of it he sends it across the goal there but it's out for uh, can it be kept to play by Eamon Collins he can at the second time I'm asking trying to get it up succeeds and do so he's boring his way through and he falls to the ground but maybe get a shot inside he doesn't get a shot inside he put it over the bar but the referee said the foul had been committed before Collins had an effort to uh, send it over the bar and uh, it will mean that it's a free now for Eamon Collins after taking a slap on that occasion from the bar that he does and over the bar it goes another free and another point for Eamon Collins and he scored game right now and this litter hasn't made any great ground the Kilworth man there wins it the charge of this one and certainly a big big day still Kilworth uh, players coming on the pitch as the uh, game started I thought you should have a uh, full tally and uh, the first ball breaking through as far as uh, Ronan Lehan Ronan Lehan the midfielder from Valley Rovers from his own 65 strikes it up towards Kevin Kenty uh, who moved out the corner he lets it run overhead and it's gathered now by Eamon Collins and Collins they get off as far as Kenty and uh, uh, Kevin Kenty dropping it can he get it back up again no he gets it out as far as Eamon Collins and Eamon Collins decides that he's ever caught a hot amount of block down this Kilworth defence has done today a good play by them and Eamon Collins gathers it moving forward and then strikes it off his right and uh, is it over the bar oh wonderful strike by AC at the moment the puck is on his way from Kieran Walsh the cool baller from the uh, Kilworth uh, side of things and he moves it up the feet oh this is well gathered by Adrian Mannix Mannix moving forward he's stepping it up a little bit he plays it aside as far as Shane O'Brien O'Brien is tearing down trying to move in a good tactical come in a lovely pass across oh Willie Ball what a save highest class that you'll ever see they talked last week about the uh, Kilkenny man in goal well I'll tell you one thing no save equal the one by Willie Burke it's just after happening right in the uh, start of the second half here and the ball is in and Mannix is moving up he's up for this one he strikes it over his head is it over the bar I wonder from Adrian Mannix we wait and see and a mighty point from Adrian Mannix that score coming and good play by Adrian Mannix puck on it's on his way from Willie Burke we wait and see here what's going to gather and it's gathered by Kevin Canty Canty moving forward and uh, he strikes it for 60 65 metres decide to send it in to uh, the brother in Adams well not the brother in uh, not the real brother I should say but Eamon Collins and Collins in for 45 metres oh and slaps it over the bar it's a wonderful point right good game of hurling we're three and a half minutes into the uh, second half here and it's been good stuff blocked down by uh, Stephen Manning for Valley Rovers breaking as far as Manning's get it again this fella hard working man then moving forward he's after moving for the 45 and then he scoops it as far as Tidebuck but Tidebuck on this occasion it breaks from his and uh, Kevin Kenty comes in a clash straight into uh, Will Toomey and Kenty gathers it good play by Kenty he delivers it inside in towards Collins once again and Collins gathers it second time asking he's heading home oh what a white interception by Alan Kinney and Kinney tries to get the ball away as uh, the ball is uh, won back once again uh, by the Valley Rovers men and Ty Burke tries to scoop it out there's a player outside him that is uh, is it old Manny or Brian Lee Hans sometimes they get mixed up with these two guys and it's Lee Hans striking inside can he deliver oh what a goal 
fouled by Brian Lehan. Broken back as far as the right half forward over there. That is Brian Tobin. And Brian Tobin caught and break it down once again. Stephen Manning is underneath it. But it's won by the Kilworth man. He claps down before he strikes it in. Adrian Manning's found the target once again. It's a brilliant score by the Holy before he got that one over the bar. But we welcome listeners back here to uh, the uh, second half. We are uh, ten minutes or six minutes into the second half. But what a period of dominance for Valley Rovers in the second half as they lead on a scoreline of 112 to 10 points. Can't he gathers it for them? He's been awesome in the second half. And then he pokes the ball as far as uh, Eamon Collins, who's been awesome all day. Collins Collins from 45 metres out, make his way forward. And what's he trying to do, I wonder? And uh, move it forward, then he goes down. He's been uh, injured and that, OK, minutes in. And Jeremy Hurley, how's he at the long short ones? He's been brilliant, long ones all day. And, uh, well, he can do the short ones as well, let me tell you. Over the barrel, it is gone. Ned O'Brien has also been introduced for the... Uh, Latter stages, well not the latter stages, dare I say it, only 10 minutes gone in the first half, shot puck out, where it's gathered by Amy, Damien McNamara, McNamara sends a foul for Kilworth, they need a couple of scores as they're trailed by 9 at the moment, and the Valley Rovers full back that is Dahi Olinchik, gathers that one, CIT Stewart will be in action for them at right half back. In the county scene, our holding championship that a little later on. The ball is in back with a little bit of interest. It could be retained to Dr. Jody. And this time it's turned to the back of the net. There was nothing here. And Tobin lets it. It's driven down the field. This is good play by Kilwatt. We give you the score. I'll tell you what is now. Mannix got that one. And Mannix so proud on the air on that occasion. A target. Kilwatt are making changes left, right, and centre. Mannix delivers it long and through. And over the bar, it's another one for him. And, he, and significantly, the goal and a point have been the last two scores coming to wave Kilwatt. And they're on their way again. What a massive block down there by Nolan. Donovan, but it's one back by Paddy Lynch who oh, let's rip 48 metres out and Paddy Lynch has got a brilliant score and the probably in Kieran Walsh and Kieran Walsh gathers it and from the main street in Kilworth well not from the main street in Kilworth he's not there today that's where he's from a great race going on here a couple of players running into it and uh, Valley Rovers there uh, unnecessary I would imagine 113 to one goal and nine it is before Mannix lifts and strikes this one and I would imagine you could be putting it on over the bar it is free. we'll check in a minute who's going to be hauled off it's Ty Burke has been called to show for the moment he to take his breather did his bit while he was in there and every man that uh, played has played in this match whether he be from Kilwater whether he be from Valley Rovers certainly has added greatly to the entertainment value under the free now Jeremy Hurley he's been in action for uh, terms of free taking for a while as he comes forward and strikes this one is it the time for it to go over the bar it is make it difficult for the to try to work it out the field. No, O'Donovan's in there, so too was Ray O'Donovan, and O'Donovan gathers it and for the second time. Holding Championship final 2009, and Adrian Mannix to the free 45 metres out by the sideline. Does he drive it straight between the? Po- He'll survey the situation in front of him, and then he let it long. It will drop, I would imagine, between the 45 and 65. And uh, Kevin Canty comes out, breaks it down to the waiting Ray O'Donovan, and O'Donovan decides to send it forward over toward the corner there. We'll see who'll go to get onto the end of this one. It's James Young, and Young delivers it. I think it's him. Is it over the bar? I wonder. From young. Number nine jersey, and that's none other than Mark O'Connor from Killish Killock. He sends it out to the far side of the field where it's got a superbly there. And it's Elton Pierce. This guy knows a lot about it. Elton Pierce is fouled, and there's going to be a free in and a free to be taken by Adrian Mannix to the far side of the field. It's uh, well within his compass. Does he put it over the bar? We'll be telling you about it over the bar. We watch the uh, puck out. Uh, coming to the far side of the field over there now is the time maybe for the Valley Rovers men to uh, open a little bit again Elton Pierce is over there Pierce gathers it this is a Kilwatt man still moving and uh, what a lovely ball across here who can gather it oh delightful holy here by Adrian Mannix Mannix moving on further I think it's Paddy Lynch that's going to gather it I'll tell you about it in a minute it is not other than uh, Paddy Lynch the right corner forward left corner forward and Paddy Lynch from a difficult angle and over the bar of course and the boy Rio Donovan what marvellous play by O'Donovan he's coming forward there's two points between him and Rio Donovan coming into midfield he gives the pass off as far as Owen Manning and Manning decides to drive it inside and uh, we're at the stage now where the referee has spotted an infringement a foul was committed uh, three minutes and Valley Rovers are leading by two and they have an opportunity now of putting this one over the bar it's another one from Eamon Collins between them in the evening echo sponsored intermediate holding championship final oh what a brilliant block down there by Mike O'Brien and O'Brien from Valley Rovers pokey out there and he has won a free and from all behind his own 65 he is going to uh, drive it in the general direction of goal will it hit home I wonder is it heading home and it is it's heading home the referee has spotted a foul surely there'll be a hold up here it's be taken again surely no the, the action is falling and it's very close to the inline it's off the inline and off for a white ball and there it is will the puck out and it's when Gerald Rice who came on the line and there the final whistle goes and there Goal and 13, and uh, one goal and 17. My apologies.